I just came from La Plaza, where I planted marigolds with kids from the daycare sheltering arms. First, we looked for the frog at the fish pond, but the frog could not be found. The children, in a growing loud chorus, called, Ribbit! 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 with their peering faces reflected over the water lily surface. The wise frog thought it best to stay hidden. The children cannot believe when the fish food is poured and a golden carp comes floating up out of the gloom. Then look, there's a blackfish, a minnow. And it's not a cartoon or a book, but life itself rising up. I planted with five kids at a time while their classmates played off in the distance. I told them, when we dig up the dirt, that helps the earth to breathe. The earth is alive, just like we are. When the earthworms make tunnels through the ground, that helps the earth breathe oxygen. Don't ever hurt or be afraid of worms. Worms are really good. Before we plant, I have them pour water into the holes and show them the white hair-like roots of the unpotted marigold. We have mouths to eat and drink. The plant has roots. One boy up on his stuff informs me that the marigold's leaf will get energy from the sun. He really knows what he's talking about, and I say, yes, that's very good. The leaf breathes just like us. I hold the dangling marigold in the hole while each child puts a shovel full of dirt around, finally to pat it down with their flat, quick hands. Young shoots of peppermint already grow over the garden's brick edge. I pinch off a leaf and show it to them. Do you know what this is? I put it in my mouth as they, unbelieving, watch. Yum! It's peppermint. People eat this to make their breath fresh. Does anybody want to chew some? They don't, except one girl who, unable to contain her curious self, shoots her hand up. I hand her a leaf that she, without hesitation, gleefully eats. Immediately, two of her mates want some. I give them each a leaf and tell those still holding back that if they want, I'll give them a leaf to smell, but not to eat if they don't want. They all do want to smell, and as soon as they do, open their mouths. In the leaves go, all smiles.